Hi everyone. Hope everybody's having a great day today. I certainly am. Um, it is it is nice because I am uh, I'm by myself at the house again. So it's it's nice to take a little break once in a while. The kiddos are all back at school now. Now that spring break's over, so it feels good. It's nice and calm around here again. Uh, I've got a bunch of littles who are who are very very loud and uh, require all my attention, which is fine. But um, it's it's nice to have that little break in between every once in a while. So. So hey guys, we're going to do uh, what I should have done more of last week. I only did like one video of it last week, but as promised, I want to do some more Mortal Kombat 2 Complete Edition. Well, this is called the Mortal Kombat Complete Edition set. It has Mortal Kombat 1, 2, 3, Ultimate, and uh, Mortal Kombat 4, all in one set. Um, these are all Mugens that have been redone, so there's so much more content they've added to it. They've added more, uh, for example, this one has more characters you can pick from. Um, it's got, uh, it's got... Um, the option to put the run and combo system in if you want, or you don't have to. You can leave it just like the old school Mortal Kombat 2. But I like adding the run and combo system. I really enjoy doing that. So today we're going to do a playthrough with, as you see, we have all of our bonus characters, Kentaro, Shao Kahn, Smoke, Jade, and Noob. But today I'm going to use a classic character. I'm going to use Scorpion for this playthrough. And our goal is always is to get through it in a single credit. We'll see if we can. It's actually a pretty tough version of the game. I have it on medium difficulty level. Uh, the highest medium is medium five. But I think we should get it. We'll see. I've elected not to turn off the lights today, so you guys will see my ugly mug in the background once in a while. <laughs> it's fine. Oops, that's off to a bad start, isn't it? But guys, hopefully you watched my other videos. Um, but if you're not familiar with this version of the game, very awesome version. I mean, it's got it's. So if Mortal Kombat 2 was already the original Mortal Kombat 2 was already my favorite because I played it for so many years and grew up on it, I would pick this version. It's so awesome. It's way, it's way cool. It's just got so much more content added to it with the extra characters. And of course the combo system, if you want to add it, you don't have to. But the combo system is there if you like it and the run system, the run button. Which I do like adding it to these, in these Mutant games. If I get my combos out there. But yeah, even like, even like these stages, you can tell they added a lot more to them, um, including just the, even the, what's cool about this Mortal Kombat 2 version is all the animations and all the special moves that they added to the game looked like they just belong in Mortal Kombat 2. It was so well done, so smoothly done. Um, and then it looks like this could have been just Mortal Kombat 2 back in the 90s. They did a great job. Oh man, it's handed to me. Let's, let's go around. All right, that's, that was beautiful. <laughs> let's try this again. Got my spear too much, I think. I'm catching on. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, this is only a medium, but they're still kicking my butt. So <laughs> you gotta, this game can be pretty tough. There's the old school fatality from Mortal Kombat 2. As you can see, it's been done a little bit differently, but it still looks great. Like I said, it still looks like it belongs in the game, which is awesome. Oh, my God. 
Uh, of course, this one was added to this game. It was never in Mortal Kombat 2 originally. It was actually, I believe, Mortal Kombat, uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, I believe, so that fatality came from. <clears throat> He's got one more fatality to do, which of course is his old school fatality, his toasty. And then we'll, then we'll try to do some of these other stuff as well. As you see, guys, the stages don't change a whole lot. They keep true to just about three or four different stages on the playthrough. I'm pretty sure all the stages are still here, but you'll primarily just see a, a handful of them. You won't see them all, which is kind of disappointing, unfortunately, that you don't get to see all the stages on the playthrough. I like his new version of this. So they added a flame to his head and they changed up the way the fire comes out. It was pretty cool. And now apparently their bones sparkle. <laughs> so like I say guys, it's a it's it's changed, but they're they're all really good changes. I, I like I like what they've done with it. Can't complain. Round Yeah, they're pretty easy right now on difficulty 37%, as you'll see in the top right corner. But once we get to difficulty 50%, eh, they step it up a little bit. They tend to do a little more damage faster. Try to get cute with it there. Doesn't work. Now we'll do her his uh, friendship, which is just your classic by a scorpion doll. Scorpion wins friendship again. Now they do have animalities in this version, but I'm pretty sure you still have to do like a mercy and all that to do the animality, so I probably won't do it. Um, but uh, we'll do we'll do everything else, even the brutality if I can pull it off. So here we are in the tree stage. So we'll do a, a, a fatality here. Well, what's cool about the baby audience stuff here, you don't have to do any stipulation. Like, you don't have to do any other requirements. Like, you don't have to just hit kick only. You can do everything else. You can, you can do punches, you can do kicks, you can do block, you can run, you can do everything. You don't worry about there being any kind of um, requirements to do a baby audience or a friendship for that matter. Yeah. All right, we're getting pretty close to 50%. I would imagine that there we are, 50%. So now it's gonna be a little bit tougher, still manageable, but a little bit tougher than it was before. They tend to block the spear a lot more or something like that. So. I may have to use my block level a little bit more now <laughs> in this uh, difficulty, 50%. Done everything now, pretty much. Minus, like I said, the um, animality.
Yeah, see what I thought that spear here as much. <clears throat> but I can't say enough about this game, guys, about how beautiful it is and how very well done it, it, it is. Um, I think it's been a few years now since they, since they made this version, but it's very well done. I'm very appreciative of it. I'll try to do his little pit stage here. Vitality in Very nice. Even the animation, although it's different, looks great right there. Looks like it was meant for this game. The Tana can kind of be a kind of be a butt in this far in the game. She stays on top of you the whole time. Pretty crazy. Sixty-three percent difficulty now too, so it makes her even tougher. That's well. So, um, Shang Tsung, and then I think we still have to do like kind of like a hidden character stage or a hidden character fight. Even though there's no hidden characters in this game anymore. <laughs> well, there is, but uh, most of them are already, you know, available from the get go as a selected character. One of these days, guys, um, I'm going to do a room tour so you guys can kind of see my setup here. Not today, obviously. <laughs> but soon, very soon. Got a few things I need to clean up in my room first, then I'll show you guys around. I think it's either after Shang Tsung or after the next person. I think it's after Shang Tsung we have to automatically fight the uh, a secret battle. Let's see if it's here. No, okay. So we got Jade, and then the next the next one will be a uh, kind of secret battle. Oh, 
Boy, thank goodness they fall for that spear a lot. <laughs> Imagine on a harder difficulty level would be a little bit different. This is a medium, so not too bad. One of these days I'll I'll do some videos when I get more comfortable with this gameplay. I'll do some videos on a hard the harder difficulty levels. So I'll show you how you guys with that was like. Hope y'all do good in it. But yeah, I apologize. Last week, guys, I got wrapped up in doing Mugens and uh, playing some games with my son that I didn't really have a lot of time to do uh, Mortal Kombat complete playthrough. I think I did one. I think I did a... Uh, who was it? I think it was a Katana playthrough. I can't remember now who I did. Uh, but if you guys watch my videos, I'm sure you already know which one it was. But, uh, but yeah, so this week I'm kind of making it up a little bit. I'm going to do some Mortal Kombat 2 uh, pl complete playthroughs, and then I'll also do... I'll probably jump into Mortal Kombat 3 after that. Pit 2, so this is probably going to be Hornbuckle. Let's take a look here. Yeah, Hornbuckle. 75% difference. I'm nervous, actually. Thank goodness he falls for that. <laughs> Even at 75% difficulty level. <laughs> oh, he's got a ball. I didn't know where Buckle had that actually. Kano Stamu. That was lucky. That was a little close. Alright, so now it should be on um, Kintaro, I think. And then, of course, Shadow Queen. I can't remember how Katara plays in this. Honestly, can't. He might be actually a little bit easier than the real Katara from Mortal Kombat 2, but we'll see. Or he might be just as hard. In a different way. Yeah, let's go start. I'm a lot. Yep. Oh boy. <laughs> it's going to be tough. <laughs> All right. You guys need to jump over him and start attacking from behind more. Drop my combo. It's not good. Not good this late in the game. Oh, there you go. Okay. That's what I think the strategy is, is to jump over him and start a combo from the opposite side. Or just... <laughs> <Never mind. laughs> I was just like, or just do that! There we go. Okay. So Shao Kahn. Wish I could remember how to fight him. With, uh, you know, on this version, obviously. That's still possible, that's cool. Oh! There we go, okay. Not bad. Yes, it is. I guess. There we go. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad of a playthrough. 
Um, yeah, so I believe, if I'm not mistaken, so far I've done a Katana, and I've done a Scorpion playthrough for Mortal Kombat 2 Complete, if there's, or for the Mortal Kombat Complete Collection. If there's another one you want me to do this week, let me know. I'm all ears. Another playthrough. Um, even if it's one of the new characters, like Noob, uh, not one of the ones that used to be secret characters, like Noob Cybot, uh, Jade, or Smoke, I have no problem doing that. Just let me know. Keep me posted. Uh, after you guys watch this video, down in the comments, if you wanted to see somebody, another playthrough with, on this version of the game, let me know who you'd like to see. And let me know if you like the run and uh, combo system, or I can turn that off as well. Like I said, I can always just do the old school Mortal Kombat 2 without the run and combo system. So, just let me know, guys, and I would be happy to oblige. Like I said, I feel like I owe you guys one or two more Mortal Kombat 2 playthroughs. <laughs> Mortal Kombat 2 complete playthroughs, anyways. Uh, but yeah, like, this, like I said, this week I'll also probably do some Mortal Kombat 3 as well. Uh, Mortal Kombat 3 complete playthroughs as well. So, we'll let these credits play through. But yeah, let me know what you guys like. Um, let me know if you are enjoying these Nugents, me playing through these. I really enjoy them. Uh, there are some that are, like this right here, are great. These are really great because these are very much like the original arcade Mortal Kombat 2 and Mortal Kombat 1 and Mortal Kombat 3 and Ultimate. And very much like them. Uh, they just added stuff to it and made it, just tweaked it that much more, made it a little bit better. Um, but if you like the other musicians I've been playing lately, let me know in those also. Uh, those are fun for me to play. I really, really love playing them. Even the one that's got like the silly out there characters, I've got one of those as well, the new era. But it's, man, it's still a lot of fun just to... Guys, I, I put out that RoboCop video last week, and I was just dying laughing for that for that um, that story that he has. You know, again, it's a silly character from a Mortal Kombat game. They're not even really Mortal Kombat games at that point. They're just a fun, awesome, funny, all of the above, uh, just fighting game. So, but they they with you know they just happen to have like the Mortal Kombat mechanics, you know, like the fatalities and the combo system and stuff like that. So, um, but they're fun. I love them. So let me know if there's any of those you want me to do play through with. Uh, let me know again if you want me to do some more of these Mortal Kombat completes. These Mortal Kombat completes are probably my favorite ones outside the originals because they're so close to the original. Um, you know, it's just it's it's great. They they've done such a great job with them. They're just so close to how the originals were, but they've added their own special um, special stuff to it as well. So again, let me know. Let me know in the comments. That's all you gotta do is comment about what you like to see, and I'll do it. So, anyways, guys, that looks like the end of it. Uh, Y'all have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.